Pulse News on the Go, brought to you by Bell Aqua Mineral Water, proudly Ghanaian. Executive Director of the Institute of Economic Affairs, Jean Mensa, says she is surprised at the immaturity being displayed by political parties over a outrageous invitation for a presidential debate and their criticisms of the arrangements made. Political parties, specifically the NDC and the parties without representation in Parliament, were up in arms over the arrangements in preparation to this year's debate. But Jean Mensa says, quote, there is nothing fundamentally different from what we did in 2000 and 2008. Unquote. The National Commission for Civic Education has revealed plans of organizing a presidential dialogue for aspirants as part of its activities for this year's election. The NCCE says it is still engaging the presidential aspirants of the various political parties, but the executive director of the IEA, Jean Mesa, has cast doubts over the credibility of the NCCE to hold presidential debates. She believes the NCCE should rather focus on its core mandate of educating the citizens on their civic responsibilities and duties ahead of the November polls. The Industrial and Commercial Workers Union has called for the dismissal of the CEO of Cocobot, Dr. Stephen Oponi, from office for disrespectful conduct and financial malfeasance. The union demonstrated today in Accra to present a petition to the Ministry of Labor and Industrial Relations detailing instances of disrespect from the CEO to workers. Presented a position to the Deputy Labour Minister, Mr. Solomon Kote said the petitioners are here to let the President know that enough is enough. Senators in Brazil have voted to suspend President Delma Rousseff from office. The vote begins an impeachment trial against her, which could drag for more than 180 days. Vice President Michelle Tema will assume the presidency while she is serving her suspension. Ms. Rousseff has been accused of manipulating finances to hide growth deficits ahead of a re-election in 2014. She has however denied the accusations and has vowed to fight her impeachment. Pulse News on the Go Brought to you by Bell Aquamino Water. Proudly Ghanaian.